Our opener is Psycho Sid Vicious versus Buddy Ryan, and no football fans, not that Buddy Ryan. So Colonel Rob Parker is in the ring doing interest for Sid. He's got his big giant cowboy hat on, and it's WCW, so the lighting is terrible. Thank so God his face is totally hat. obscured. <laughs> Sorry? So thank God you just said cowboy hat. Yes, cowboy hat. I don't know what, yes. what other thing he might have that be giant, but... Right. Yeah. Anyway, point is, I couldn't see his face. So Sid gets in there with Buddy Ryan, and Sid is enormous. He looks nine Dude, feet tall. He was absolutely fucking gigantic. Yes. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I I did not watch a lot of this period uh, live. Can't imagine why. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was hard to believe. But, I mean, you know, I watched him when he was in WWF before this, obviously. I watched him when he was in WWF after this. I watched him when he was in WCW after this. I never saw this guy as fucking gigantic as he was on this show. And he was always a big jacked up dude. Mm -hmm. But holy smokes. Now part of it is this Buddy Ryan dude, a tiny man. No, no right. joke, Brian. We just watched that battle. You were much closer to my size than Buddy Ryan was to Sid's. Yes. This is not a fair... I don't know what athletic commission approved this fight, but they, they had some issues. So Sid, as we all know, was never any good. And he was often sloppy. But <laughs> this is the first time... Well, I shouldn't say first time, but it's the one time I remember that Sid looked like he was deliberately trying to injure his opponent. Yes. He... I think starts, he just fucking sucked. It's possible, because the first thing he does, he goes for a big choke slam. Now, you've all seen the choke slam before. You grab a dude by the throat, you lift him up, and you throw him down. So, like, if you just let gravity do the work, he'll go to his back. Sid throws this dude down with such force that he somehow spins around and lands on his face on a choke slam. He, well, he, yeah, I mean, Sid lifted <laughs> him up and threw him down, and uh, I guess you could argue it was maybe careless. That's one word for it. But so uh, he, it looked like he killed him. He takes him to the corner and starts booting him directly with the toe of the boot hard in the ribs. Like it's making and noise. WWE has come down on the wrestlers not to slap the thigh because, oh. of, the, because of the sound it makes. Yes. Uh, Sid was not doing the thigh slap and it was oh. still making the noise. He was, he, was doing, he was slapping the man's ribs with the point of his toe of his boot. Most of you probably not worn wrestling boots. They're not... They're firm. <laughs> They're very Don't supportive. Don't kick somebody with a fucking toe. Yes. No. I would like to say that my proudest moment on Friday was when I did such a great leg slap that Lance believed that I'd stiffed you on an enzigiri. Aha. Excellent. I'll take that. They go outside the ring, and Sid is... He does a the big boot. <laughs> sure and did. The boot, the boot itself is not... like The foot-to-face is not super violent, mm -hmm. but he follows through... With such force that he drives the back of Buddy Ryan's head to the floor. After all of this, when he got him in the ring and just power bombed him, that was like the most. That was the easiest bump of the entire match. Yeah, he he laid him down uh, perfect. He laid him down flat. Uh, yes. he, he didn't drop him on his head, much to my surprise. Yeah, which leads me to believe the rest of this had to be partly intentional. You know, I I feel bad for this this poor jobber here because he got his ass handed. He to him, pissed but. off somebody. I don't know who or how well, or why. Well, I mean, maybe they were just like, you know, this fucking Sid sucks. So, uh, you know, go in there, I've, and really put a beating on this guy. Because I mean, when it was over, I mean, you were really impressed by Sid. Sure. You know, as a Sid's as a, a casual great. viewer, oh, as yeah. a worker, I was appalled. But as yes. a as just a normal viewer, I was like, fuck, look at this guy. I want to see this guy against <laughs> Vader. I can't wait till the next time he murders somebody in the ring. Now, if he would have gone in and done his WWE match, I would have just, like, been... We're not, we're not doing Saturday night anymore. So, <laughs> I guess there is that. But he was bad. Yeah. He was horrendous. He was shitty, and he hurt, and it looked like he was hurting the guy. That's a double whammy. He, he sucked in every way. Yeah. Well, it could have been worse, because, like, all the shit that he was hit, hurting the guy with could have looked bad on top of everything else. That's true. All right. At least when he gave him that horrible boot, it looked like he killed him when he killed him. You know what I'm saying? Yes. A well-earned death, the man had. A, a valiant, noble death on the battlefield is what it was. You can fulfill your dreams of being on TV. He started talking about, is it Bet Kings? I don't know. But they started uh, talking about some... Uh, There's Draft Kings. Draft that Kings. Is. Compulsive gamblers. They had some things to say here. There were only a few guys in the cage at the time, and they were down. So he escaped his pod 
early to take a gamble that he might be able to eliminate one of them. Which, by the way, did not pay off. Before but I was told, wait, Brian, it doesn't matter if the gamble pays off or not. I said, what? You're telling me that if you have a net worth of $500,000 and you see that it's the Seattle Seahawks against the Portland Trailblazers or whatever the Super Bowl might be, and you bet on the Seahawks. Somehow the Trailblazers win, okay. and you lose $500,000. Okay. You're broke, but you're telling me that you can go to your fucking wife and say, yes, dear, that's how professional gambling works. Do you know what your wife will say to you? She'll say, fuck you, we're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> you compulsive gamblers! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.